Hey everyone, Matt here with CryptoBlick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to transfer your Cardano from ADA Lite Wallet, if it's still there, or from an exchange like Coinbase, on over to your Trezor hardware wallet. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. And with the recording of this video, I am trying to enjoy the Apothic Dark, and that's because it's the limited edition here. Um, it says it's bold and it's a red blend, but guys, let's be honest here. I would rate this a five out of 10. If I was honest, um, I was very disappointed how it came out and how it tasted. Uh, I even gave it time to open up. Still, was I was not satisfied with it. I would stick with the normal uh, Apothic Dark if I were you. And if I were you, I would tread lightly on this Apothic Dark, the limited edition. If I were you, stick with the normal Apothic Dark and you'll be happy. So now back to the video. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in for the Trezor here for sending that Cardano. Before we move forward here, I just wanna make sure that you have the correct uh, Trezor Suite downloaded. Um, if you already have it downloaded, you're good to go. Um, but for those of you who have, who have never done it, go on over to Trezor.io, come on over to Suite. From here, you can select the specific OS that you're using, whether it is Mac or Windows or Linux, you can select that there and then get the desktop. So just, I just wanna make sure that you are aware of where to get it. Do not click on any links in your email. I've had people comment in the comment sections below. Um, on other videos saying, hey, uh, I got an email saying I had to reinstall the app and now it's asking me for my 24 keyword C phrase. That is a scammer, never do that. They will not ask you for your 24 keyword C phrase, okay? Because if they get that, then they can siphon off all your crypto and you've lost it, okay? So make sure that you go to, to their official website, download their suite from their website and you'll be good to go. All right, so I just wanna make sure that that was uh, you know clear to you guys. So go ahead here we're then going to go on over let's go ahead and pull up the trezor suite just to have that pulled up here i'm then going to plug in my trezor model t you can do the the one as well either one works but i'm going to go ahead and put in the model t here all right so it says not connected let's go ahead and tap it here it's going to ask for the uh four digit pin that i set up so let's go ahead and put that in Verifying the pin, okay, it's done, there we go. Okay, now it, what it is doing here, it is updating the transactions that I have on the blockchain. You'll see a couple here pop up for when I've done videos in the past. Um, wow, those are old. Uh, anyway, so we have things pulled up, but let's go ahead and add the Cardano account here. First, you can see I have Bitcoin and Ethereum. Go ahead and do the plus symbol, activate more coins. You're then gonna come on down to Cardano. Go ahead and click on that. Find my Cardano account. So what it is doing, when you click this button, you may have had uh, created a Cardano account in the past. It will look for it and add it back on. If you have it, it'll just create a new one for you. So go ahead and find the accounts. And what it is doing is checking their Cardano blockchain to see, hey, are there is there any information out there that we should add onto, uh, in my case, CryptoBlix account? All right, so there we go. Everything is set up appropriately. Um, we can rename it if we want to, which I'm going to, okay? Uh, it says right here, enable labeling right there on the screen, if you guys see it, there you go, perfect. And I'm gonna push the green checkbox, so yes, I want to. Let's do local file system. Let's do a model T, there we go. Awesome, so I just renamed it. You can leave it if you want, but you can rename it there, okay? And before we do receive and grab that receiving address, let's go on over to ADA Lite Wallet. And as I wanna mention here, before you go any farther forward, make sure to save yourself some headache here and error messages, turn off any VPNs, or you may have an ad blocker on your browser. Turn those off. I have had issues in the past with trying to connect with my ADA Lite wallet account. Turn those off and you'll be good to go. All right, continue here. What are we gonna use here? Well, we're gonna use our hardware wallet. And I just wanna correct myself here. So you can use the Model T to confirm uh, your addresses on your ADA Lite wallet. Um, I wanna make sure there wasn't any confusion here. You can't use the Trezor One, only the Model T. So I just wanna make sure I made that clear. Let's do unlock with Trezor. Loading. Okay, it's grabbing the wallet data. 
There we go. We're going to allow once for the session. Export multiple Cardano public keys. Export. And once we're in, go ahead and do close. You can see the available balance here that is on my ADA Lite wallet for Cardano with my Trezor Model T. Well, so now on over here where it says send, I'm gonna put in a receiving address. That's the address that we wanna send this Cardano to. So let's go ahead and go to Trezor Suite. Let's go ahead and click on receive. We're gonna do show full address. Go ahead and copy that address, okay? Go ahead and put it in the send section, but always double and triple check your address. You never want to just haphazardly put it in and expecting it to just go through just fine. You, I always like to just check the front end and the back end of the receiving or sending address to make sure that everything is correct. Um, in this case, the receiving address. So let's just check it just to make sure. Perfect, so it checks out just fine. The asset we're sending is ADA, that's all we have available. Let's do the max amount. Okay, we're gonna send that on over. Go ahead and cl click send. But before we do that, let's go on here. Let's look at what we have here on our Trezor Model T. It says base address, swipe just to confirm everything. Base address, yes. Okay, I, collect, I selected the green uh, check mark button on there and then do send. All right, so we're just transaction review. We're looking at it, making sure that everything is correct here. Yep, network fees, the amount. Okay, we're good there, we check out. Confirm transaction. All right, allow once for this session, yes. Follow instructions on your device. So you're gonna see here, it's, it's gonna have a message on confirming that transaction, okay? So uh, confirming transaction, choose the level of details. Show simple or show all, I'm just gonna do show simple. Yep, shows the amount here, the address, I'm not gonna show that to you here. Um, but uh, you swipe up here to confirm everything. Go ahead and click that green arrow button. There we go. And then to confirm what you're sending here, shows some basic details here. You're gonna, you're gonna hold that green button to confirm it. All right. Boom, awesome, there we go. And it is, the transaction Transaction is pending and is sending right now as we're recording the video. It may take some time. Just wanna let you guys be prepared ahead of time. Once you send it here, it will confirm and say yes, right there, transaction successful. But just because it's successful doesn't mean it has confirmed 100% on the blockchain. I'll show you here in a second um, on Trezor, but it may take a bit of time. It could take anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes to confirm on the Cardano blockchain that yes, this is a valid transaction. So keep that in mind. It may say it's successful, but it just, it says that, hey, it did send. There's at least one, trans one confirmation saying that it was successful, okay? But it may take some time before it is 100% um, on the blockchain. So if I click refresh here, it may still show my balance, okay? And it's okay, don't freak out, it did go through, but let's go on over to our Trezor suite and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so you can see now that uh, I've got that $24.81 in my portfolio. You can see that transaction is right there. But let's go into our accounts, let's come on over to ADA right there. Let's scroll down and see some details. I sent ADA to myself, which is great, okay? So let's go ahead and look at this receiving ADA. You can see more details here. Um, it is confirmed and you can see that number is ticking up. That means the confirmations on the blockchain. Show, it shows that, hey, yes, at the recording of this video at 12.07 is when it was sent. And it is confirmed, and like I said, it may just take some time to fully be confirmed on the blockchain, but as you can see already, it is recording that yes, you did receive some Cardano. And so that is how you send your Cardano from your ADA Lite wallet on over to your Trezor Model T. Now let me show you how to do Coinbase. All right, so then jump on into your Cardano app, okay? And you're gonna scroll on down to your Cardano wallet you're gonna see at the top here, you're gonna see a, in this case, a paper airplane icon. Your, your app may look different at the, you know, once you're watching the video, but as I'm recording this, you can see that little send button at the top. You're then, in this case here, I'm getting rid of all my ADA um, on my Coinbase app. I'm gonna do max in this case. 
And then once I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and uh, come on over to my Trezor suite uh, application. I'm going to do receive. I'm then going to do show full address. It's going to pop up with that QR code and the address. You can copy and paste it, bring it on over. But for ease of use here, let's just scan the QR code. All right, and then as always, I like to double and triple check my address just to make sure everything is correct. So taking a look here. Perfect, everything is correct. Let's do preview send. All right, everything checks out just fine. Let's do send now. And then it also wants me to grab a six digit code from my authenticator app. All right, so I plugged in that six digit code. It is processing here. Successfully sent, perfect, awesome. So I just sent that on over. Let's refresh the account. It's depleted, so we're good there. All the Cardano is off. What I like to do here, just to confirm that everything went through, you can either go back to dashboard or you can just do a quick command R to refresh the app. But in this case, it did it just fine. Let's come on down to ADA. All right, and you can see, all right, perfect. It, it updated for me. All right, so received ADA. That is the transaction right there. You can see more details here um, as to the total input and output, the amount that was sent, the fee, the details in terms of when it happened. And you can see I've had three confirmations on the blockchain. As with the other confirmation you saw, I had up to 23. So it will take some time to confirm everything on the blockchain, but I just wanted to show you in case you were curious about those details, you can see that right there. But as you can see, everything is being sent over to my Trezor Model T. And that is how you send Cardano from your ADA Lite wallet or Coinbase, like an exchange like Coinbase, on over to your Trezor Model T. If you guys have any uh, questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if I brought you value, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I'll see you when I see you.